What is today on today's situation? Welcome everyone to today's situation where we answer what is today and what happened on this day. Today's situation is a short daily show all about giving you the facts. Hey, it's all about learning and having fun. Let's get started. Famous holidays and observances for May 3rd. Today is Melanoma Monday. The American Academy of Dermatology, or AAD, is encouraging women to check both their partners and themselves for signs of skin cancer throughout their Spot Skin Cancer campaign. Check your partner, check yourself. Research shows that women are nine times more likely than men to notice melanoma on others. This is especially important for men over 50 as they have an increased risk of developing melanoma. Today is National Chocolate Custard Day. Custard is a versatile dessert. When paired with pastries and baked goods, custard can be layered and piped. It also can be the main filling of a pie or a tart. Substituting frosting with a thick custard between layers of pound cake or creating a delightful parfait with custard, angel food cake, and pipe custard into a dainty cupcake adds a dollop of whipped cream and sprinkles for flair will make a great tasting dessert. Today is Paranormal Day. National Paranormal Day, which occurs on May 3rd, is a novelty, unofficial holiday meant to celebrate and encourage paranormal phenomenon. Fittingly enough, the origins of National Paranormal Day are a mystery. The radio show Coast to Coast AM theorizes, however, that this date may have been chosen because Charles Fort was an influential author and a researcher of the paranormal, and he died on that day in 1932. National Paranormal Day was first mentioned on Twitter in 2009. At the time, people were observing the occasion on both May 3rd and August 10th, though the former date prevailed. The holiday was entered onto the website National Day Calendar in July 2014. If you're enjoying this content, please remember to like and subscribe, and thank you. Now back to the commentary. Today also marks the beginning of Air Quality Awareness Week. Important historical events for May 3rd. In 1512, Pope Julius II opened the Fifth Council of Lateran at St. John Lateran Basilica in Rome. In 1715, Edmund Halley observed a total eclipse phenomenon called Bailey's Beads. In 1845, the first African-American lawyer, Macon B. Allen, was admitted to the bar in Massachusetts. In 1926, Britain's Trade Union Congress called for the country's first ever general strike. It began one minute to midnight in support of striking coal miners that lasted nine days. In 1937, Margaret Mitchell won the Pulitzer Prize for Gone with the Wind. In 1947, Japan's post-war constitution went into effect. It granted universal suffrage, stripping Emperor Hirohito of all but symbolic power and outlawing Japan's right to make war. In 1983, Soviet leader Yuri Andropov decreased nuclear weapons in Europe. In 2002, the Spider-Man franchise starring Tobey Maguire and Willem Dafoe premiered in theaters on this day. Famous birthdays for May 3rd. May 3rd, 1469. Niccolo di Bernardo de Machiavelli was born, founder of modern political science and more specifically political ethics. He also wrote comedies, carnival songs, and poetry. He wrote his masterpiece, The Prince, after the Medici had recovered power, and he no longer held a position of responsibility in Florence. May 3, 1903, Bing Crosby was born. Crosby became a major Hollywood star, winning an Academy Award for Best Actor for his role as Father Chuck O'Malley in the 1944 motion picture Going My Way. He also appeared in seven successful The Road 2 films with Bob Hope and Dorothy Lamour. May 3, 1906, Lucille Vasconcelos Langhank was born, best remembered for her role as Bridget O'Shaughnessy in The Maltese Falcon. She overcame personal troubles to win an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her performance in The Great Lie that premiered in 1941. In May 3, 1956, Akio Toyoda, Japanese president of the Toyota Motor Corporation, was born in Nagoya, Japan. Toyota's family line have long dominated the upper management of the family business since the days his carpenter farmer great-great-grandfather, Ikishi Toyoda, taught his son fabrication and carpentry. This has been today's situation. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.